Dry food? Okay, hege. That's when I should have realized that, yeah, my wedding is in trouble. Don't get me wrong. My relatives, they love me. Especially if they need to get a visa, come stay at my house for free. And since $1 equals 160 of their currency, and they don't want to pay for soda or even a pack of gum, but they do want that cosign for that convenience store because they are the next Shahid Khan. We have it on Easy Street, and they've had it hard their whole life. In that spirit, my cousins decided, we're going to do his wedding for him. First, we're going to start with some dancing horses. Well, that sounds baller as hell. Have you ever seen a horse in Pakistan? And do you really want to see that goddamn thing dance? Uh, I don't think so. Then, on top of it, the stupid look on their face because it had happened on their on their wedding and they made sure to show me 900 times on repeat. And they're standing there like... Came the discussions of food. Because no Pakistani Indian wedding is a wedding without the proper menu. And I decided to make a mistake by being assertive and discussing with them Hey, you know what? Why don't we try to class this up a little bit? Let's do something unique. Let's try some Thai food. And instantly, flop ho jayega. Flop. I'm like, what? Flop? What? Is this some Mithin movie from the 1980s that you're worried about? They're like, oh, nobody wants to eat Thai food. They want mutton. I'm like, I'm allergic to mutton. They're like, oh, if you don't have mutton, it's flop. It's flop. After the yelling subsided, it was time to talk about the next important thing. The invites. They had a very unique way because they really wanted to spoil me. Because they wanted to invite everybody and slap them across their face in a revenge through me. So if it was a distant cousin that lived 18 miles outside of the city, they were going to make sure that they went out there, but they weren't going to invite those cousins, man. They were going to invite that doorman, that nokrani, that chef. Because there is no way better to insult somebody than to invite the staff and not invite your actual blood. And I'm stuck in the middle of this. So as you can see, I'm getting pretty frustrated with this. And, uh, you know, we're having discussions back and forth. And uh, they're like, no, you must have the mutton. Otherwise, it's flop. Otherwise, you might as well not even get married. And I'm kind of like, eh, kind of seems like a good idea. I'm like, you want to have the 5,000 people? Invite our relatives as well. They're like, you don't understand. We are going to put those people right next to the stage. The driver, the, the servant, the doorman. We're going to give them mutton. And <laughs> they're like, you don't understand. When they eat the mutton right next to the stage, I'm like, what? Right next to the stage? I'm like, don't you think that's important to have the family? No, you don't understand. They'll go back and they'll tell them, oh, we ate the mutton and we sat right next to the stage and we were treated so well. And I'm like, that makes no sense. I'm like, why don't I put my own friends and family there? And they're like, you don't understand the politics of Pakistan. You don't understand the politics of Pakistan. I'm like, I don't understand the politics of Pakistan. You're going to call the chef or the driver or the doorman who's going to eat that mutton. And since he hasn't had mutton in probably six months, he's going to go and take the biggest dump. And we're going to be smelling that throughout the entire event. And that's going to be the reminiscence. And like, that's a better gift than our relatives would have given you. You thank me later. You don't understand it right now. Unfortunately, um... Yep, uh, that was part of the reason I didn't get married in Pakistan. Do you like mutton?